The disciples of Jesus were the first to ask about the signs of the end time. Matthew 24 verse 3 And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? There are many things that Jesus mentioned that will happen here in the end times. I encourage you when you have the opportunity to read the first eight verses of Matthew 24. If you read the first eight verses of Matthew 24 and you look at the world, you will see that Jesus was right and is right. So I encourage you today, make sure your life is right. Please make sure your life is right. This is why the title of this message is get your life right before it's too late. Time is short and the devil knows this, and he is getting more and more aggressive with his tactics to get people to fall away from the path of Christ. The devil is playing very smart these days to capture Christians unaware. There are things that Christians have counted as normal things to do, but they are sins to make Christians fall. They are packaged by the devil. Christians call something a white lie, that is from the devil. There is nothing like a white lie. A lie is a lie. Either you tell a lie to save yourself or you tell a lie to make people laugh. It is still a lie. The devil packaged these things for people, especially Christians, to fall into. God hates lies. We have internet all over the place now. We use it for our benefit and we use it almost every day. The internet is part of our lives now but the devil has turned it into another method to lure people into. Sometimes you click on a link just to read information. Suddenly an advert with indecent pictures will pop up. When this happens, not everybody can resist the temptation. The truth is the devil is getting desperate and he knows it. He only has a certain amount of time left before he is cast into the lake of fire. But he doesn't want to go alone. He wants to take as many people with him to be cast into that lake of fire with him. In 2 Timothy 3, a list was given of the many things that will happen to people in this time period. Paul gave the spirits that the devil will release into the world that will enter into the hearts of mankind and cause them to go against God. Paul started by saying that in the last days, perilous times will come. And this was a warning for us believers to be alert and on guard. There are things that we must start to do now in these perilous times so that we will not be swept away by the things of the world. In 2 Timothy 3, we see that people will love themselves only. They will hate others. They will not love God too. We hear people talk about self-love, which means loving yourself first. This is not a bad thing to love yourself, but the problem is that people have allowed hatred, selfishness, and evil to grow in their hearts in the course of loving themselves. God told us to love others as we love ourselves. He didn't say love yourself and hate others. We also have boasters. Some people will covet other people's properties. All of these are the spirits that the devil has sent into the world to make people fail, to make people fall. This is the time to wake up and act as Christians to stop ourselves from being victims of these evil spirits. Of all these things that are going to happen or are happening already in the world today, Christians who love the Lord and choose to stand by Christ will never escape persecutions. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12 Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. People often run from this part of the verse because it involves persecutions. It is something that we should look forward to. The Bible says that those who live godly will be persecuted. I have always said in this life, a holy life is a lonely life. If you are being persecuted, this means that you are living in the right path because people will not be against those who follow them into sin. If you are standing your ground and reject these sinful things, you will be called names, you will be shamed, you will be mocked. In some cases, there have even been people who were fired because they did not yield to the evil done at their workplace. God wants people who will stand for the truth in these end times when people are forgetting about Christ and heaven. God is looking for those who will remain truthful till the end and will never go against his words even if they are persecuted for standing upright. 
John 4 verse 23 But the hour cometh, and now is when true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. What are the things that we must do in these end times? We are to follow the command of Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. This verse suggests there will be a time when God will not be found and a time when God will not be so near. So the time is now to seek God. All we need to do is to recognize our need for God and humbly ask him to draw near to us. God is concerned with the condition of our hearts. Come before him humbly. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. He doesn't desire to be aloof and afar off. He is a God of intimacy and wants to come near. We are told that if we ask anything of the Father by faith, we will receive it. God's ears are tuned to us when we come and acknowledge our need of Him and our desire for Him to invade our space. The truth is, He is standing at the heart door of the Christian waiting to be let in. Revelation 3 verse 20 Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person, and they with me. Before we pray, he is standing there. He has presented himself and is waiting for us to ask him to come in. Secondly, we must stay on the right path. There is much wind of fake doctrines blowing around right now. Many people have been blown away by these doctrines. Ephesians 4 verse 14 That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Even though the perilous times are here, we must continue to grow and not be like an infant that can be easily tossed to and fro. We need to stand our ground and remain faithful in God. That is the only way we can stay on the right path. How do we grow and remain on the right path? Pray without ceasing. In this end time, we must increase the amount of time we spend in the place of prayer. We must pray at all times. The location should never be a barrier to us, and we must pray and continue to pray. If everything is going well for us, we must pray. If things are not going well, we must pray fervently. Ephesians 6 verse 13 Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Read the word. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17 All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. We need a guide. We need to use what we can to keep ourselves in check. We need to immerse ourselves into the Word of God. We must know how to read the Word of God daily. We need God's Word to get by daily. We need to be filled with His words so that we can stand against evil and fight. The Word of God is important in these last days. The word of the Lord to you today is to not be afraid. Remain in the Lord. What happens in this world will never shake you. It will never move you if you stand on Christ. The world may be going in the wrong direction. The signs of the last days may be happening now. That should never make you afraid. That should give you the strength to keep going and never stop going. What God wants you to do at this time is to keep going in Christ.